is the best note card I've ever used is my phone. I just want to say that. It used to be a problem where you had to fit your terrible handwriting on a note card. Now I can just cheat and use my phone. So that's what I'm going to do a little bit. But just tell me if I'm looking at it too much. How about that? So obviously we all know uh, a few of these companies here on the screen. Maybe Facebook, Microsoft, Apple. Uh, together, uh, they employ almost a million people right now and uh, generate almost half a trillion dollars in revenue each year. The founders of these companies, you may not know this, um, guys like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and um, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of, of Facebook, um, they started these companies, they did it backwards too. They started these companies without getting their college degree. They, they did these companies before that, and some of them never did get their college degree. Now the reason I bring that up is because I can relate to this, as you all heard. Uh, you know, um, a few years ago, I went out and interviewed uh, with a company who may be on that board there, um, and I made it to the final interview of the, their final interview process for the internship, and um, they flew me out to Seattle at their, to their uh, headquarters, and while I was out there, um, I met guys from MIT and Harvard, people who uh, were able to you know, get almost perfect scores on their ACTs, their, you know, did really well on their SATs. I thought that was great. Well, I didn't even have my GPA on my resume to get out there. And the reason I didn't uh, is before that, I was actually denied an interview at a, a more local company because my GPA was not a 3.0. It wasn't high enough. I even called and asked if I could get an interview even though mine was a 2.9. They wouldn't give me an interview. So I moved on. Uh, and I was out there in that, to that big company. So a lot of people asked me while I was out there, you know, why, why, weren't you, why weren't you asked about, you know, your GPA? Why wasn't that something that was important to them? And I get to tell those people how my experience uh, at, out, out in, when, uh, throughout college was uh, more important to them than my grades were. So I was never asked what I had on my resume from the jobs I took during college really mattered more than those grades that I was getting or any of the test scores that I had. Now don't get me wrong, statistics do show that education is important, or at least getting that degree does get you paid more. But it, getting a college degree does not equal getting a job. That's one of the key components that I see a lot of my friends miss, and, and a lot of people, uh, you know, as you're younger, you're growing up, you're looking at what degree you want to go into. Look into first, maybe, that degree, but look into what the job market is like. What kind of jobs can you get when you're done with that degree? Because sometimes uh, you may go and you go into this certain degree four years and thousands of dollars later you graduate, and there might not be a lot of opportunity for jobs in that degree. So look, look into that first before you jump uh, right into that degree without planning ahead. So what, what can you be doing that, that is helpful in, in today's world? I think that today, it's more important than ever to continue educating yourself outside the classroom. Curriculums, you know, today are focused on, you know, uh, books and facts versus maybe experience and application like we heard about earlier today in the STEM process. What I think, um, you know, those great grades don't always transfer over to great employees. Coming from being an employer myself, you know, I've seen the, the fact that, you know, even if you have that 4.0, you might not be a great employee. So that can't be your only focus. There has to be something else out there. You know, some of those examples of things you can be doing in college uh, while you're looking to expand your experience and your knowledge outside the classroom. Let's say you're a journalism student. Look at getting uh, some experience in a local or community uh, publish, publishing uh, organization. Look at getting that experience while you're in college, while you're learning uh, things in class. Look outside of that in, in that spare time that you have. In the technology world, obviously, uh, technology is just, it's crazy right now. The job market is great in technology, so look at getting an internship. But if an internship uh, doesn't work for you, look at those extracurriculars or campus organizations. Show, show those em future employers that, you know, that dream job you want to get. Show that you have the, the people skills, you have maybe some of the leadership qualities that they're looking for. So in, uh, in 2009, CNN did a study and found that these are the 10 things uh, that employers are looking for in their employees. Number one was long-term potential. Are you interviewing this company because you want to stay there or are you looking to leapfrog? 
Um, they, they want you to stay there. And at long term, it's, the, the market's crazy right now. Number two, uh, the ability to work well with others, showing you know, strong interpersonal skills, being able to show that you've been able to work with people well, not just take tests. Number three, your ability to make money, you know, bringing those skill sets that you have into the workplace and really applying that at that company so that they can really benefit from, from your skills. Number four, an impressive resume. But even more importantly, number five is the experience and the relevant work experience for that specific job that you're looking for. Even if you just mowed lawns for a summer, talk about how you were able to interact with your clients, who, who those people you were mowing their yards. Talk about how you were able to manage your time, you were able to get that stuff done. Don't just talk about, you know, you could push a mower. You know, don't, don't bring in those other experiences that you did have, and even if you don't have a lot of relevant experience, as maybe coming out of high school and college, we see a lot of people that are struggling to find the experiences to put on their resume when they're even looking for that initial internship. So bring in some of those things. Maybe you worked at uh, a fast food place. Talk about how you worked with your employees and your employer there uh, to really coordinate and, and do a good job with the people that you, that you served. Um, number six, creating creative problem solving skills. Look at, you know, they're, they're looking for employees who can go and find those answers on their own. They're looking for that creativity that you have. One example of that is, is just knowing you know, how you can creatively use things like Google Search to solve those business problems that you're working on or that, you know, that you'd like to help with. You know, another big factor to take into account when we hired our company is uh, are you able to, to reach out on your own and, and find answers to problems that maybe nobody knows or maybe the people immediately around you don't. So can you show that you, you're able to go out and learn things that you haven't been taught, but you're able, to, you're able to reach out and find and use the resources around you to do that? Number seven, a strong online presence. And that, this was in 2009, three years ago. So imagine how important it is now to have your Facebook and Twitter profiles clean, um, you know, business, you know, professional. That's what they're looking for. Number eight, multitaskers who can thrive on a variety of projects. And number nine, enthusiasm and initiative. Are you excited to work at that company? And are you, um, are, are you taking the initiative to maybe learn about uh, what, they're, what they're really about? And number 10, finally, are you a good cultural fit? Do you fit in with that company? Is it, are those people you're going to work with, um, are they like you? Or, are they, or, or will you be able to work well with them? So I want to point out these last 10 things. The reason I bring the, these up is in there, they did not once point out that uh, you needed to get a certain GPA that employers are looking for GPAs. They didn't point out that employers are looking for ACT scores. They didn't, they didn't point that out. Employers aren't concerned about that as much as your actual ability to come and work. And what it comes down to is employees want to know, can you do what you've learned? Have you, have you uh, uh, shown you can do that and have you applied it and not just talk about it? And have you been a team player that can communicate well with others? So back to education. Uh, Larry Page, the CEO of Google, and he was also the founder, uh, said this at Zeitgeist America's uh, 2012. He said this, I think for education, we really want to empower you to do amazing things, to learn things that before would take you days or years to learn, maybe takes you five minutes now or, or a minute to learn those things. That's a, that's a big change with technology today that enables you to learn things that would have taken you to have to travel across the United States to find that information out before, and now it's at your fingertips on the internet with tools, massive knowledge bases like Wikipedia and, and search, search engines out there. You can find that information much quicker. So I've researched some alternatives to uh, these methods of learning uh, outside of the classroom, and I looked into them in order to, uh, you know, maybe you can look into some of these in order to pick up some new things. Maybe you can uh, prepare for that job you're looking for or, um, you know, uh, just expand that knowledge that you currently have. One of those is Khan Academy, you see on the screen here. Khan Academy, you can go out to that website today. You can learn just about anything. I, I, yesterday, I, I tried uh, learning some, you know, polishing my math skills, so I had some subtraction problems that were seemingly complicated to me. I'm an engineer, I don't know what was going on. So I, but I was able to learn that out there, you know, go back and refresh those skills, but also they go into really advanced topics at Khan Academy, and it's free. And it's available for you to go out there and use right now. Um, code Academy, now you may ask, well, I don't care about developing. I don't, I don't know about code. Well, you don't have to be a developer to benefit from knowing just a little bit about code. Nowadays, technology is so prevalent in the workplace uh, that it, it really matters 
it does, it does help if you're able to understand a little bit about how to talk nerdy to those guys uh, who, who know that code for you. MIT OpenCourseWare. Imagine being able to uh, listen to lectures from some of the greatest uh, lecturers in academia today. MIT OpenCourseWare and others like it, Stanford's doing this. They have websites out there that you can go out and, and actually watch a lecture that normally you would have to pay thousands of dollars uh, a year to see. Uh, it's out there and available, and they're trying to bring this knowledge out to everybody, give it, you know, make it accessible. And last but not least, YouTube. Now, obviously, I'm not wearing a tie right now, but I did sort of learn how to tie a tie on YouTube. But YouTube also enabled me to, to learn, uh, to be able to program uh, and learn those tools that I need to start my business. So I may not have gotten that big job out in Seattle, um, but my strong experience that I had on that resume enabled me to start my business here in Fargo. I'm 23 years old, and today we employ 16 people in Fargo, uh, and I get to do what I love every day, which is great. And hopefully, uh, I'll be able to graduate this December with my, my degree. Um, and assuming I can do that, then I think I'll be able to continue working at my own company. As hopefully, I get a degree to do that. They don't fire me from my own company for not having that degree or that GPA that was needed. So I want to leave you here today with this. Get motivated, get experienced, and get learning outside that classroom. Thank you.